My first job was working for my father in a factory. He manufactures maternity clothing. So I was the stock boy. So I was the one putting the three X's in the uh, inventory in the back. Um, it was hot because there was no air conditioning. It was not anything what I wanted to do, but it was the only way that I could get my parents to continue to pay for my meals. When I was growing up, I had a babysitter that made me watch all my children, the soap opera, so my dream job was to get on all my children. So then when I was a teenager, I got extra work on all my children, um, and then I got an actual part with lines and stuff on it. So it felt like I really accomplished the goal that I had set out to do. Um, pretty soon after, I realized that acting and soap opera acting really was not what I wanted to do with my life, so I gave that up, but I felt good that I achieved what I wanted to do. My advice for people trying to land their dream job would be persistence, would be not letting someone, not, not banking on someone else doing it for them. Nobody's going to give you anything on a silver platter. You've got to do the work yourself. You've got to, whether it's networking, whether it's starting from the bottom, you know, whatever it is, you've got to be willing to put in that work to achieve your dream job because very rarely will it come out of nowhere. How I define success is not monetary, it's not stature. Um, it's self-worth. Um, it doesn't matter to me, you know, what your bracket of finances are or what your title is. It matters to me that you like doing what you do every day and that you feel some kind of satisfaction in what it is. I mean, a job is still a job, so there will be work no matter what you do. But if you can end the day feeling good about what you did and feeling like you achieved something in one of your own goals or were doing something that, that you you know had set out to do then that is success you know I, I'm a huge movie fan and if I could get the job of someone like Steven Spielberg or Quentin Tarantino or someone where I get to create art have success doing it in that people are seeing it uh, I get to work with amazing actors and make that my full-time job that would be my dream the funniest interview I ever did with a celebrity was back when I was in college. I was writing for Us Weekly, and it was one of my first, and I interviewed Ben Affleck at the Goodwill Hunting Junket, and afterwards I was going back to my dorm at NYU, and I went back into the hotel lobby, and he was just sitting there, and I was calling a cab, and he came up, and he's like, hey, do you need a ride downtown? And I said, uh, yeah, sure. So I hopped in a limo with Ben Affleck, and as we were driving down, he said, what are you doing tonight? And I was like, uh, I live in a dorm. I'm probably going to the dining hall. And he said, why don't you come out with all of us? So he actually invited me. Uh, and I went out with like Leonardo DiCaprio and him and David Blaine and Fiona Apple. And it was just one of the craziest nights of my life. And I was probably 18 at the time. This is Dream Jobbing with Matthew Colweiss. Change your story.